I play little Charles, who is the nephew of Ivy, the son of um, uh, Matty Fay and Charles Senior, Charles as he's known, uh, being played by Chris Cooper and Margot Martindale respectively. And uh, I, I'm also the cousin of the three sisters of Ivy, Karen and Barbara. Little Charles is a pain character. He's a 37-year-old adult who's very much um, put down on by his mother. He's not particularly supported at home. Uh, his father is incredibly tolerant and kind towards him. He's one of those people who hasn't found his purpose and time's running out and I think his mother despairs and that's where her anguish comes from and other things as the plot reveals. But um, I think primarily, I think in her sibling's failure, she sees one of her own. I mean, the woman's imagination never dries up. At the end of a 10-hour day, she turns in a discovery, uh, a complete U-turn on a thought process or a look or a delivery, and it's just, it's brilliant to watch. She's so free, I think that's the secret, really. She gets to a state with her work and her preparation whereby she's free. And you know, as a, as a, as a relative novice, I was, I was really, I was really gauche about it. I said, look, I've got to ask you, what's the chicken and egg course cart thing here? Because I want to know, I want to, know what your process is and she went I don't know I mean it changes doesn't it change for you and I went yeah that's a real relief because it does I don't I don't walk in and impose a working method on people and I think she's the same you know she, it's it's something that um it's something that's mightily impressive though to see someone who's that flexible still who's not tied into a, a particular way of working is is beautiful because it incorporates everyone It's the most extraordinary ensemble this, this, this film has and to really see everyone working at the top of their game and being inspired from you know, Meryl's lead was just, yeah, it was, it was a terrific week's work. It really was, it was very special to be part of that. Chris Cooper next door to me, I mean, what can I say about Chris? I mean, I, it's very, very easy to, to, to love an actor that has that level of sensitivity who's playing your father. I mean, he's, he's got no um, vanity about him and yet he's completely in character. He's approachable, incredibly loving as a human being and an actor as well as, 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 as in, within his character. He's just, he's just wonderful and he's so light and delicate with what he does. It's, so there were just masterclasses going on all around me. I mean, it really, it was, it was a wonderful thing to observe as well as be part of. John's a fantastic director. Um, he's, got, he's got the time and the patience for everyone and every working method and bringing it all together and making a coherent whole out of the piece. And he's the perfect guardian for what is essentially a play, and by that I don't mean, I mean it's not a screenplay, it's a play, and so to have that level of investigation is, 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 is terrific. Um, and it means that it's very honed in on characters rather than, um, I don't know, an overriding visual aesthetic, which of course there is. I mean, Adrian is a, is a superb DOP, but it, it, you never feel that you're getting in the way of some technical bit of brilliance which rightfully so on other films you, you do, you're, you're there to serve a different purpose, but because it's so focused on character and acting and actors, it, it's, it's, it's great to have someone like John who really understands that he, his grasp of dialogue and the subtleties of it is, 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 is yeah, it's unparalleled, it's brilliant.